And in terms of what happens next for Jordan, you're looking, as you say, to revitalize, revamp your economy in the sense that you want to be open for business. Um, what's the sell there? Because you have a conference coming up in London, and you're looking to promote several sectors. Walk us through that. Well, the sell is that with everything that's happened over the last 10 years, crisis after the other, this is a country that's maintained its political, social, and economic stability. We, we took very harsh measures, macroeconomic measures, when these were needed. Fiscally, we're doing uh, well. Um, but you I, did pay a political cost. It was a huge political cost. Including Jordan's, losing Jordan, your predecessor. Uh, it, it, yes, it was a political cost for the government. It was a political cost for the people. Unemployment among youth uh, is approaching 40% in, in Jordan. Uh, our, uh, uh, there's water short shortage, uh, uh, schools overcrowded, classrooms overcrowded, etc. So the average Jordanian citizen very much feels the pressure of the last 10 years. So what our challenge is to say, bear with us as we get ourselves out of this because we have everything that it takes. We have everything that it takes. If you look at Jordan's economy, our growth in the last four or five years have, has been around 2%, which is not what we expect. There was one time when we were growing at 7 and 8%. And if you look at our economy, it ranges from uh, uh, the high-end uh, research synchrotron accelerator that 12 different countries are involved in doing uh, physics research and chemistry research and pharmaceuticals research and archaeology research in, in, in that place all the way to uh, semi-skilled and low-skilled garment work that 200 co uh, firms selling to um, JCPenney and, and Gap and uh, Walmart. and so, so you have that whole spectrum. And you have creative industries uh, working. We have a great cinema uh, industry hosting movies like uh, The Martian and uh, uh, the Star Wars, and for those with gray hair, the, the um, uh, Lawrence of Arabia, who the can best. have seen that. <laughs> so Jordan has, uh, has, we have a great pharmaceutical sector, healthcare, IT is, is prime in the region. But we sir, one of the things that so many investors that I speak to say to me is that they want to put more money in Jordan, they want to be more invested in Jordan and build their businesses, but they're still unclear from the government in terms of a strategy, and mm. not just a one-year strategy. Sure. They want to know five and ten years down the road what they can expect in terms of regulation, and that's why they would prefer potentially to go to the UK or to the United States, somewhere they can be sure that the next round of people that were put into government, the next round of politicians that come in, aren't going to change the game on them, because that's, uh, frankly, all about investor risk and sentiment. Absolutely. Now, it, the, the, the message we are sending, and very clearly, is we have started getting our house in order. We've taken the fiscal measures that we need to take. We've taken the governance measures. We have very transparent procurement uh, laws. We even have uh, disclosure policies about what public officials own every year. We all have to disclose. So we're getting to an environment that is predictable, that is safe, that is transparent, and uh, we're committed to it for, for the long term. Has Jordan had to uh, make hard choices over the last three, four years? Yes, we have. Have we had to de de uh, uh, decrease our public expenditure by 8%, which is among the, uh, the biggest shifts, uh, in, even compared to countries like, like Spain and Italy and Greece and, and Argentina? Yes, we have, but these were harsh measures we took and maybe they shocked some of the private sector in Jordan, but we had to do it so that we create a stable macroeconomic environment. Now, for the first time, we, our deficit is 2% as opposed to 5.8% at one point. Our, our debt to GDP is going down rather than up, and we're uh, preparing for a series of events. The upcoming one is the London conference, where we're going to look at the structural transformation that the economy is going to, uh, dealing with uh, a, a debt facility that will help us smooth uh, the debt structure over the next uh, uh, four or five years, and more importantly, the business environment and a pipeline of projects, 
part of which we have, a lot of it related to energy and moving towards renewable energy, but uh, other sectors that uh, uh, as well, whether we're talking creative industry, tourism, um, uh, the um, IT, which, is all, which has always been a, and back office services, mainly for the Gulf regions, uh, helping with the reconstruction of Iraq and Syria, uh, the, uh, some of the uh, trade agreements that are fantastic that we have with the United States, with Europe, with, with East Africa, all of this, I think, uh, pro allows us now to, to have a, a, a different narrative, if you will, about the future.